Hello Internet, I'm Colorful Artie, and welcome to the next part of my Mega Man Let's Play series. I've done 1 and 2, and as you can see I'm doing the Anniversary Collection on the GameCube now, so I no longer have to play the super laggy uh, NES versions. So, I'll be playing Mega Man Free today, but first I want to go to Options and make sure I've got the menu right, not Sound Options. Gameplay Options. So, we've got a few options. So we got Navi Mode, which basically means Beat will appear on several levels and pointing you in the right direction. Honestly, there's no need for that. Difficulty, 1 through 7. Uh, I always play on Normal, uh, not easy. And then Starting Lives, they normally give you 5, but I guess I'll play closer to the NES version and give me only 3. Hopefully that won't play a role into the uh, game. Alright. Time to start. We're going to do a new game. So as you can see, we've got Mega Man, Mega Man 2, Mega Man 3, Mega Man 4, Mega Man 5, Mega Man 6, Mega Man 7, Mega Man 8, Mega Man the Power Battle, and Mega Man 2 the Power Fighters. I will be covering Mega Man 3. Yes, I do want to overwrite the Mega Man 3 one. And as you can see, we are now at NES Graphics. Mega Man 3 also has amazing music. Personally, I don't like this menu theme as much as the Mega Man 2 menu theme, but I digress. Still got the password system, however, we fortunately get to save after every single level, which that's very nice. So, enough dawdling, let's do Game Start. And eight new Robot Masters, and I'm still kind of thinking which order I want to do them in. I will say, I am not starting with Needle Man or Shadow Man. Huh. I think I'll start with Top Man, he's easy enough. Yeah, Top Man, I just... I have to question why. Why did they do this? So now we have the ability to slide, which will let us not only dodge attacks more easily, but it also lets us uh, basically travel through small tunnels, kind of like the Morph Ball from Metroid. These are nuts and bolts, they take only one shot to destroy, but you can only destroy them if they have connected entirely. These guys are kind of annoying because you can only hit them while they're jumping. A lot of people do not like the Anniversary Edition of Mega Man, mainly because the jump and shoot button have been uh, reversed as to what they were in the original NES version. But personally, I this is the first time I stood, uh, was playing Mega Man, so I actually have no problem with it. You also have quick weapon switch, except for the Rush Coil, uh-oh. Should have left Navi Mode on, because that makes the menus a bit easier to navigate. So this is Rush. He appears in this game, he can give you a giant jump. And you can quick cancel in the Anniversary Edition. Oh man, people are being generous with the health today! So I still don't really know what Top Man's stage is supposed to be themed. Is it supposed to be like a toy factory, or a greenhouse? Spikes are instant death as always. Also, in the Anniversary Edition, if you hold Y, it's actually like a turbo button. I will try not to use it, though. And Mets are driving giant machinery. Oh, I want that. You do not get in the way of Artie and his 1-ups. Because Artie needs 1-ups, if Mighty Number no. 9 is any indication. Yeah, I was not I was planning on not doing this for a while since of Mighty Number no. 9, but I think I've waited long enough. And mini boss, this literally looks exactly like my pet cat pretty much entirely. <laughs> and that's a nasty mini boss, very difficult to dodge its yarn balls. You can shoot them to death, but then he just makes more, so that's nice. That second one's a lot easier because the yarn balls just go off screen. This is where the level gets a bit annoying. Whew. 
Grabbing on ladders can be annoying sometimes in this, but it's not too bad. Ow. Darn it. So to do the slide, you're supposed to push down and then push jump. But if you're playing the Anniversary Edition, you can just push the X button, which is a lot easier. And we're at Top Man! Top Man is a joke, pretty much. Once you know how to dodge his attack, he is easy. Throws the tops, slide to avoid them. Okay, I got hit there. Oh, wow. What I don't like about Mega Man Freeze, this uh, kind of introduced the game where, like, all the Robot Masters are super durable. Even Top Man, who should not be durable. Oh, he got killed by Top Man! How? <laughs> Probably because I was getting the jump and shoot buttons mixed up. Because I am now used to playing it with the opposite controls. Ow. That first spin he does always gets me. Goodbye, Top Man. Yeah, you'll notice if you're used to Mega Man 3 on the NES, the Anniversary Collection does not lag. Which is very nice. Also, the music doesn't cut out randomly at points when there's so much stuff on the screen. And we get Top Spin. Pretty lame weapon, all in all. It does have its uses, it's not completely useless. It's just not my favorite by any means. Alright. So now we get to choose another guy. So if you're going in weakness order, you'll want to do Shadow Man next, but... Ugh. I want to avoid doing Shadow Man for as long as possible. Let's go after Snake Man. Snake Man's st a stylish looking guy, and he's got amazing music. It's Indiana Jones's Nightmare! I love all the green in this area. Actually, I just love the design of this stage in general a lot. Mini boss. He's kind of like Metal Man, in his, at least his, in his attack patterns. Yeah, I love this stage so much. Pretty much everything's green. I personally really like snakes. I think they're really fascinating. I'm sorry, they're fascinating. I don't like the poisonous ones, but around my house we just have like garter snakes and they're really cool. Watch out for the plunger guys. They've got pretty large hitboxes. These are hammer joes, they're pretty easy. When their eye opens, you can shoot them to death. And most of the time, they're very easy to dodge. Again, thanks to the slide. So if we go up here, one of the only instances in the game that has these random power-up crates. I'm surprised they both gave me health. Normally, one of them gives you tiny weapon energy. Also, you'll notice, so this is top spin. I'm pushing the trigger button, but nothing's happening. Basically, you have to do it in midair. It'll do a tiny little spin. If you hit enemies with that spin, it can deal heavy damage to them, but it could also deal almost no damage, and then you'll take damage. But the thing I really don't like about the top spin is the fact that its weapon energy is not consistent in its draining. Sometimes you'll use top spin and it'll only take a bar off, and sometimes you use it and it uses up all the energy just once. Which means, uh, for the enemies who you really, really want to use top spin against, you might not even get the chance just because of how inconsistent the weapon energy is. <laughs> and now we're in the sky for some reason. I never understood why. This is where the stage starts getting annoying. Make sure you jump every time they 
come out of the smokestack, because otherwise you can sometimes glitch off screen. And that is not fun when that happens. Blue! You also want to watch out for these guys. They're bullet bills inside clouds. Their bullet bill form is a lot faster. Their cloud form is a lot more difficult to dodge, though, due to their sporastic movement. Sporastic movement, yes. Sporadic movement. So, for example, here, you want to shoot them while they're at their highest point. And just jump over that guy, and boom. So Snake Man, for some reason, super durable. Don't know why, he just is. Fortunately, he's also pretty easy to beat with the Mega Buster. At least if he doesn't do that. Basically, you kind of always want the middle pedestal for this fight. Just do that, and it's not too bad. It's really that first beat you across the room if he decides he's gonna jump and shoot snakes at you from the middle platform. You're probably gonna take a hit. What I do like about this is you can hit the bosses pretty rapidly because they don't have very many invincibility frames. Also, what I like about this game is many of the bosses have actually two weaknesses as opposed to one. For example, Snake Man takes extra damage to Shadow Man and uh, Needle Man's weapons. And here we actually get a nice weapon. And it's green. We get Search Snake. And I love that color scheme. And this music's awesome. Pretty much every song in Mega Man Free is really good. I'll point out my favorites and least favorites, though. Alright, we got time for one more stage, I believe. One or two. I think I will go after Gemini Man. He has probably my favorite music in the entire game for his stage. So I'm gonna be quiet for a bit. close. So you're probably expecting this to be an arctic theme with space in the background? That's about to change. And here we get to meet one of the characters from Mega Man Free, Proto Man. And he is going to open the hatch for us. How nice. If you jump then hold left, you can get that. And then that. And now we are in not at all a nice world. Also, there were no ice physics at the beginning of that, in case you were wondering. You shoot the egg and a tadpole appears. You shoot the tadpole once and he dies. Really, my only complaint with this stage is the fact that the checkpoint isn't until, like, the very end. Not sure who was in charge of putting the checkpoint on this stage, but you failed. So it is possible to make this jump, it's just like you've got one frame for it. Oh, I did it! No, no, no! I did it! No! There we go. Also, if you're getting sick of having to do that jump, you can use Rush Coil to get up there. And these are Yambos, or Dragonflies. And these are giant evil duck dispensers. Shoot their eyes to make them die. They also shoot penguins at you. Oh, that's for me. Actually, I should have kept that out. Yeah, this is where the checkpoint is, and I think there are two or three rooms before the boss. That's it. 
So you actually need to use Rush Coil there. And I'm gonna do some risky maneuvering. I'm gonna try to get all the prizes in this room. So there are fish that shoot stuff at you, and then there are the dragonflies that are trying not to uh, knock you off. Not a good pattern. Fortunately, if you know how to lure the dragonflies, it's not too bad. And what I mean by lure is jumping before, uh, to make them go higher up than you're actually gonna go. Like that. <sighs> that was a little too close. <sighs> I do not like these guys. These are possibly my least favorite enemies in the game, believe it or not. <laughs> And then this is kind of the big eye wannabe of this game, but he, this guy is in a really bad spot. He opens his eyes, you can shoot him. And since you can slide, you can always slide under his jumps anyways. Alright, time for Gemini Man, and you're gonna want snakes for this fight. And as his name implies, there are two of him. Fortunately, he does not like snakes at all. <laughs> wow, that was even more pathetic than I remember. Snake time! And now, we get the Gemini laser. So in Mega Man 3, this was... Er, pfft, I am playing Mega Man 3. In the NES version, that is not a very good weapon, because just firing it makes the game lag horribly. However, in this, that is not the case, so it's actually not a bad weapon. And you know what? We haven't even been recording for 20 minutes, so I actually think we're going to do one more stage for today. I'm going to do Magnet Man. So here's the big question. Is Magnet Man an electric robot master? I do not consider him an electric robot master, but that's just me, because he does not shoot electricity. So these magnets will pull you up, but they're not that bad. And now, Proto Man appears again, but now he's a mini boss. Fortunately, he only uh, shoots while he's in the air, and he j <laughs> so <laughs> he's actually super super easy. And of course I say that now. This guy shoots missiles at you, and it's annoying because they can hit you more than once. And I do not know what they are called, but they're easy. So now we've got magnets pulling us into the walls. That thing right there is pulling me, as you can see. Mega Man standing on nothing! Give me all that. I love how fast Mega Man is compared to Mighty Number no. 9. Disappearing blocks, everyone loves them. I actually do not have a problem with disappearing blocks, believe it or not. So yeah, as, as you can see, the Gemini laser is like a ricocheting laser. That was not very friendly in Mega Man, uh, in the NES version. Now we have to deal with these and magnets together. Now them and magnets together over pits. Still not that bad. Whew. Really, the only time I do not like disappearing blocks is in Mega Man 9, because they a plug man stage just to lose them. But we'll get there when we get there, because I actually now have the means to record Mega Man 9 and 10. Not sure why I did that, since I'm just going to take damage again from this guy. Oh, actually... Oh, 
Alright, wow, the Gemini laser is of no help. There. Jeez, it would not let me change weapons. Yeah, that large health was actually more harmful to me than helpful. Time for Magnet Man. And we're fighting him with the Mega Buster. So, the Magnet Man fight can go fast or slow. So, that's his fast move. It's a bit more intimidating than his other move, but... Yeah, so that's his other move, where he tries to suck you in. The problem is, he's totally invincible during that move. Whereas for the Magnet Missiles, well, they lock on, so they're annoying, but... What the heck? They can also still kill you after they've disappeared, which is annoying. Fortunately, he's not that durable, it's just he can be hard to hit at times, since he spends most of the battle either out of reach or invincible. As you can see, I slide a lot. <laughs> it's the fastest way to travel, and... It allows you to dodge attacks much more easily. Goodbye, Magnet Man. I think he's a cool Robot Master. Partly because he gives you a really nice weapon. Ma. Here, we get... Magnet Missile! We basically fire a magnet, and it basically just is really fast, locks onto enemies, pretty much one-hit kills them. You only have 14, so you do have to use them wisely, but they are really good. I will be using those, believe me. Alright, so now we've got a uh, Hard Man, and then, ironically, the three Hard Robot Masters left, because Hard Man's really not that difficult. Spark Man, Needle Man, and Shadow Man are, though. But, we'll face them in the next video. I'm Colorful Arty, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you're enjoying the series so far. And I hope to see you for the next episode. Have a great day, and God bless.